shit. I'm recording. Uh, well, that was awkward. <laughs> anyway, um, I just saw this video on YouTube and it's a long time since I made a video and... Yeah. Look at my hair. Anyway, um, why did I actually do that? Like... What? Oh, school started. That's why I'm acting stupid. Anyway, um, so I was on this YouTube video, <laughs> um, and it had this. <sighs> Wait a second. And uh, she discussed um the lesbian stereotypicals, uh, or stereotypes in there, and it is true we get stereotyped a lot like the gay guys um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through these myths and yeah here we go the first myth is seriously the most common one the dress code so if you're a lesbian you gotta dress like me for example well that's not true you don't need to wear snapbacks unless you like them, if you're comfortable with them, but I mean you don't need to wear baggy t-shirts or um, uniforms or plaid um, t-shirts, I mean plaid shirts or, or those biker shoes or whatever, but just to look lesbian or cut your hair short, well I did it because it, I felt comfortable with it and I know most lesbians do that, but like I said it's not true and my hair is really messed up right now What the fuck? I'm fucking ugly as shit. Anyway, um, but you don't have to do that because it's you. And a lesbian can look like a female, like a little female, like feminine, like girly, whatever. It is possible. And yeah, uh, I see a lot of uh, people still arguing over this because, okay, it's easier to find a lesbian if she's dressed manly, but it's not fair for those who are femme, right? And the second myth is that all lesbians are cat lovers. Nope. Well, I loved cats when I was a kid, but for now, I actually don't really love them. I just like cats, and I like dogs, though I'm afraid of them. And I like hamsters, I like birds. So, doesn't mean if I'm a lesbian, I have a preference. And, yeah, meow. And then, at last, um, lesbians are all vegans. That's not true. I'm one, and I love, I love meat. Because I love it. Oh yeah, and then they have this, like, um, all lesbians go to the Home Depot or something. Uh, I don't like the Home Depot, and I'm lesbian, I swear to God. I go to... The Colroid, or I go to Carrefour, that those are um, French and Dutch markets. Mm. Okay, and this is the most hilarious one. Um, those who are gay are mentally damaged. How are we mentally damaged? Okay, I'm crazy, but that doesn't mean... I become lesbian because of that. I was a lesbian since I was six years old. And of course things happened at home. But it was not necessarily because of the man who did that. Okay. Um, it was both. It was the girl and the man. But I just fell in love with the girl. Because I thought she was very cute. She was very soft. She was very kind. And of course I had. Okay I'll be honest. I had the spirit I was afraid of guys. So when I said. Um, that, well, when I said I was lesbian, I wasn't sure of it, to be honest. But now I go around guys, I talk with guys, I touch them, I even kissed a guy once. And still, I feel lesbian, so I'm not mentally damaged. So where do you guys get this shit from? Or that, um, lesbians are just having an excuse to not date a guy. Or they say they're not ready for a guy. That's not true. We're just lesbians, bro. As well as the gay guys. They are not damaged. And I just use some of my user's pimple over there. 
God! God, don't look at it, please, don't look at it. Um, anyway, that was about it for lesbian or gay myths or stereotypes. Because, you know... Oh God, no, look at my clip. Wait, was that there all along? You guys shit. Oh my god. Yeah, anyway, um, that was about it. Um, of course, I'm a tomboy. I'm one of those stereotypes. But I've seen many lesbians who aren't. Who aren't stereotypes. And, you know. <laughs> you know oh my god, you can't take me serious with this. Um, I've seen lesbians, lesbians with uh, long nails. With Gel na nails, as you say it, I'll call it. I've seen lesbians who hate cats. I've seen lesbians who are not the man, you know, in the relationship, both of them. And I've seen lesbians who are as clear as the ocean, not mentally ill. So, you guys just need to get used to this because... This is a sexuality that exists, and if you can't accept it, or you don't understand it, then, well, you can always learn from it. But, some of you obviously don't want to learn from it, and then I wonder, in my, uh, then I wonder, then I wonder, wonder, that, that's what I think then, or you guys don't want to understand things, or you guys are idiots, that's what I think, because... It's just a sexuality, you deal with it, you know? That's how I think. And, of course, you can ask us questions, but not like, um, who's the man who wears the pants in this relationship? Or, um, yeah, you guys are sisters, right? Like that. You know, don't do that. Just keep it, keep it, you know, respectful still, because we don't ask you these kinds of questions, and you, you are one of those who will never understand this the community is growing actually um, and you aren't realizing it and then you're like oh yeah go kill the, the sexual homos or whatever go kill them but that's that won't happen dudes nope so that's why I tell you try to understand it and god I gotta do something about this pimple